gonna make buffalo, well ground bison, it's beef more or less. I added my onion, as you can see the dice pieces, and I put my garlic powder in. Then I added my brown sugar, that's what that brown there is. My mustard. Now I'm gonna add a little splash of enchilada sauce. Well, more than a little splash, a taste, I guess you could say. Then I'm going to mix it up, and then we're going to grill it on my George Foreman grill. like that I'm sorry to take my spoon and to mix it up to get all the ingredients incorporated Oop, wrong way again now I shall make patties and grill it I know with a George Foreman grill, you can't make real big patties or it won't close. So I keep mine, well I got a little carried away that time, about so big. And my griddle's plugged in, it's ready to go. As you can hear it sizzling, it's cooking, and when I get done, I'll show you what the inside of a George Foreman grill looks like. They got two press plates that cooks it from both directions, top and bottom. Speaking of it, I'll see, and it takes no time at all to cook one. And another little tip. Don't use a metal spatula on it, you'll scratch your cooking surface. Mine was previously owned, and the people scratched it a little bit, but it don't really stick or bug it any. I just thought I'd pass that tip along. And I'm going to go ahead and make my burgers up ahead of time on my plate there. And then I will grill them up and I'm starting to smell it cook so I'm gonna go check on it after I get done with my last patty uh, I got my last patty made I got a few little extras I'll put on that one there Messy hands. One thing about cooking these. Alright, that looks about done. Let me wipe my fingers off. I'm not going to wash them yet because I got tons of others. And this is my old wore out towel, so if I get anything on it, big to do. And as I stated, Plastic spatula. Now, my plate and grab my burger. That will show you what my burger looks like. Here. <clears throat> I 
that's the burgers I made up. Now we shall fry them up. It wants to slide. I find it easier sometimes. You just had to kind of grab them. I didn't realize my camera slid. Sorry. I can smell it now. I shall check it. And see, like I said, mine thick. Whoever had it might have struck it when they cleaned it. Or like I said, when they took their their meat off, they gouged it with the half of middle. So yeah, mine has a habit of sticking, and it ruins my burger. So I'm going to see if I can't clean all that off real quick before I try the next one. See? Strokes it up. Yes, and the other thing I'd note, my George German girl don't have a drip tray. Like I said, I got it second hand, free. And I say I never had one. But I love it. It's been a couple, three years since I used it. And I thought, well, I'll give it a try again today. I don't claim to be a cooking expert, and I certainly am not a video one. I'll put them up.
I'm wondering if thicker burgers do a little bit better. Maybe I'll try it like that. Burger does seem to help. I always check my burgers for making sure they're done. I want to try something. I want to take and make this one thick and see if that don't help on the sticking. Maybe my burgers aren't thick enough to where when I put them on the grill, they don't dissipate into it. So I took two, made one. We'll see about that. seem to kind of work in a theory. Thicker burger doesn't stick quite as bad to the grill top. Because it's thicker burger, I'm going to give it a few more minutes. thicker burger doesn't stick as bad that one was real thin and it stuck a lot that one they were kind of mediocre and those two 
So, in conclusion, thanks for watching and have a great day. And if you like my cooking videos, please subscribe or give me a message if you like them.